So we're enjoying the ribs here at Rib City, courtesy of Bookie. Guys, thanks so much for the food. Is there a way here that in uh, Bookie, people can also tell how good the food is? Or of a specific restaurant? Yeah, so we don't offer um, user-generated reviews on the app. Mm -hmm. We take a more um, editorial stance mm -hmm. on our, our recommendations. So our content team, uh, usually on under every restaurant, lists like three to five recommended dishes. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, okay. For the restaurant. I see. Interesting. And how are the ribs? I like it. Juicy. Fall off the ribs. <laughs> Fall off the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. I think what's very interesting right now is um, the food apps. There's a lot going around right now. Some which are similar in nature to yours and some uh, have, which have are actually in direct competition. Uh, oh, okay. How do you feel about those, these other apps that are around there right now? What makes you very different from them? Um, well, I haven't really heard of any other food apps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. We are, um, um, I think we're the only guys out there that's built something unique for the Philippines. Again, this started off to, to solve the problem of, of bad internet in the Philippines. It's, some, it's something that everybody experiences every day. Uh, people every day are, are looking for information on food. Uh, people want to explore all the new restaurants in the Philippines. So we're having a really good time at the moment because I think we've built um, a very unique product that solves real problems in the Philippines. Having said that, it's a solution which you created particularly for uh, Filipino restaurant goers. Yep. Um, how do you actually plan to grow this in the next three to five years? Do you plan to, number one, make it grow across the Philippines, and then number two, plan to take it regionally? Yeah, good question. I think there's, there's so much uh, of the market yet to capture in the Philippines. Um, you know, every, every month, every day, there's, there's so many new restaurants opening here. Um, so I wouldn't say we're... Uh, we're uh, aggressively looking to expand into um, another country. Mm -hmm. um, again, I think there's so much growth yet to capture um, in, in the Philippines alone. Um, so I see this over the next two years, I see this only as, as, as like a, a Philippine business. Um, we have a very promising core revenue channel at the moment, and I think our thinking at the moment is to further capitalize on that, on our core user base, uh, maybe introduce um, some new revenue channels. That's what I was going to ask. Uh, what do you think the next three to five years will be your main revenue channel? Will it be the subscription model or do you plan to grow other models to be at par or even higher yep. than your subscription it'll be, model? It'll be the subscriptions. Um, okay. the, the beauty of subscriptions is that uh, most people when they subscribe, they, they don't unsubscribe. Mm -hmm. um, and so that will be compounding revenue growth. And I, I just, I'm just curious, how do people actually uh, subscribe? Is it through uh, PayPal? Is it through credit card? Uh, is right it through now, cash? Right now they, yeah add their credit card details, um, and then their order build every month. Um, so probably in a month, month's time, um, users will be able to pay through carrier billing, mm -hmm. um, and, and also have the option to pay over the counter as well. I see. And um, what are the other type of uh, services that you plan to add also for Bookie as well? Would you be entering into the, I don't know, delivery business as well? Um, do you plan to enter into, I don't know, putting up your own restaurant for booking because you know what's good and not good. So yeah. what do you guys, uh, what do you guys uh, plan good to question. do? question. So like we're asking those questions a bit too early to say. Delivery is interesting in that there's a lot of money in delivery. Um, there's also a lot of headache in, in the fulfillment logistics side. Uh, maybe we'd, we'd tackle that with uh, a logistics partner. I've toyed with the idea of, of opening up a restaurant, but I think if there's, there's one thing I've learned working with so many restaurant partners and that it's, it's the restaurant game is tough. There's so much competition here. I've got a couple of concepts up my sleeve which we may or may not uh, look at seriously over yes. the next year or so. Yeah. And as you seem to be scratching your head, I think I must ask you the most important question. Is Bookie making money? Enough to pay for your lunch. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a good it's thing. But how about the thing. next lunch you're paying for? Still enough. We, uh, it's good. So, um, you know, I think unlike... We, we've taken a, a lot of startups raise a lot of money mm -hmm. and, and don't aim to be certainly profitable or cash flow positive mm -hmm. for years. We've been around for two years and um, you know, our goal at the end of this year is to be cash flow positive. We see a roadmap to, to achieving that. Well, fantastic. So with that, I think I can now eat my ribs in peace. Again, thanks so much, thanks, Ben, thanks for, so, the, for all the good food. And of course, I hope to book with Bookie really soon. That's right. Are you hungry? Now you don't have to wait for your hunger to make you both hungry and grumpy. Because with Bookie, now you can get both great deals and great meals at any time of the day, both online and offline. I'm Argy Ledesma. Join me again next week for another Bright Idea.